Hey everybody, welcome to the Next Gen presented by Jones Delorier Navacord. I'm Charlie O'Connor Clark alongside Mitchell Tierney. If you've been following along on social media at the CPL the last three days, you'll have seen the three members of the 2023 Next Gen class of players. That's Matteo de Brienne, Kwesi Poku, and Anthony White. So here today, we're just going to give you a quick run through of these three players, these three talented Canadian under 21 players in the CPL this season, and just give you a bit of a, a bit of a primer on why these guys are players that you're going to want to have an eye on in the coming years in Canadian soccer. Mish, let's start with the, the first member of our class who was revealed a few days ago, but then was in some more headlines a little bit later in the week. Matteo de Brienne, who when we profiled him, uh, we followed him throughout the season with Valor FC. We know now that he'll be with Atletico Ottawa, his hometown club, next year. But Mitch, tell me a little bit about why you think Matteo is uh, obviously under 21 player of the year, but why is he's a, a deserving member of this next-gen class this year? Well, I think he's a really good fit in Ottawa, first and foremost. And I think part of that is is what's the what are the strengths of his game? I mean, he played an entirely new position for most of the season as a left fullback and um, took a little bit of time to adjust, but was excellent back there, very good at winning the ball back and um, also igniting attacks as well. And I think there's just a little bit of showtime to him uh, in, in terms of some of the dribbles he has, you know, the, the incredible goals that he's able to score. I think this player you're going to see in the top 10 goals, um, the, the front flip celebration, obviously. Um, so I think that, yeah, there's a lot to like in, in terms of that for, for Mateo. And I, one thing I liked is as he transitioned back into the left wing late in the season, which is his more natural position, he brought a lot of the elements uh, that he learned at, at left back as well, um, you know, in terms of winning the ball back high and, and pressuring and that sort of thing. This is a, this is, you know, a, a player that has shown that ability to, to learn and, and uh, you know, talking to Phil DeSantos during his time at Valor, this was a guy who was the exact same in training as he was in games. And, you know, for a young player, that's incredibly important. Absolutely. Mateo, just 21 years old, as I mentioned, from Ottawa, from Barhaven near Ottawa, I should add. Uh, but 44 pro games under his belt with Valor FC, including 21 this past season. Three goals, three assists. Very worthy uh, member of, of the next-gen class and worth keeping an eye on. We move there to Hamilton, to uh, to Forge FC, where Kwesi Poku was the latest uh, selection there. Again, a 20-year-old player from Brampton. Signed with Forge in 2022 to play in the CONCACAF Champions League and really hasn't looked back since. 24 games played this past year, including starting both playoff games, unfortunately coming off at halftime of the CPL final. But basically, obviously a very important member of, of this Forge team, especially playing at left back. Mitch, what do you like about him? Yeah, and another player obviously nominated for best U21 Canadian player. And... Yeah, I think this year we saw a little bit more of the finished product from from Poku. In the past, we'd seen the the quality and what he could do in terms of you know bringing the ball and carrying it to, into those dangerous areas. But this year, two goals, three assists. I mean, uh, there was a little bit of finish there as well. So that's kind of the the next step in his development. Um, again, he's just a player that can break lines uh, with, with dribbling, uh, with with the runs he makes, with the, the width he gives his his side as well, and that's so important in the modern game. Uh, his defending has come a long way as well in terms of one v one situations, and yeah, it's it's just a young player with you know a really good profile about him and, and talent who I think has plenty of you know trajectory here to to get even better as the years go on. Absolutely. And, and certainly one to watch at Forge. I mean, he was already on the national team radar as an under 20 in 2022, and, and maybe will stay on that radar over the next few years. Finally, we have one more player in our next gen class, and that's way out on the West Coast this time, Anthony White of Vancouver FC. He was the first overall pick in last year's last year's CPLU sports draft out of U of T, U of Toronto. Uh, and he really played he played 20 games for that Vancouver club at center back this year, including he made his first start after a few little brief cameos off the bench. And then he started 17 in a row uh, after that. Mitch, what impressed you about Anthony's ability to step into this young Vancouver team and really not miss a beat? Yeah, I think it was once he once he got his chance, really, he he never looked back. I mean, like you said, he played maybe, I think it was like two recorded minutes off the bench the first few mm -hmm. games of the season. But once he came in, I mean, you know, left-footed center back, that's always going to... Um, raise some attention because it's so rare but his ability to play the ball with that left foot is is excellent and we saw some of um we saw an assist to sean hondo we saw some of that uh, towards the end of the season as he grew in confidence in terms of playing the ball forward but also just a smart defender i mean a, a guy who won 80 percent of his tackles this year and you know he wasn't someone who would just dive in 
you know, aimlessly. He was more about, um, you know, sitting back and and making sure he was in the right position a lot of the time, which again, for a young defender is, is very impressive. And at just 20, again, this is another guy who has so many abilities that could just continue to get better. So uh, a very exciting player as well, I think. 100%. Again, our 2023 next gen class presented by Jones, Laurier, Navico, Matteo de Brienne, Kwesi Poku, and Anthony White. Go check out the, our, our individual profiles on those players on Canadian Premier League social media. Uh, again, players that you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on uh, in the next few years in Canadian soccer. Mitchell, thank you so much for joining us. And everybody, thank you for watching. We hope you have a very happy holiday season.